Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do um, render passes in Maya. So this is our simple scene. We have a set with a reflection on it and a red ball. Okay, so uh, I'm going to open up our render settings here and just change a few things. I like to use Targa. Um, and for whatever camera you're using, you change it to the camera. And I think that's it. Yeah, we're only going to be rendering one frame, so it's okay to leave this as single frame. And otherwise, you change this to, I prefer to use a name number extension. And so here we have our display layers. When you go to uh, the render layers, you select all of the objects that you want, including the light. Uh, add selected objects and create new layer. This is just create layer. It'll be an empty layer. This will add those selected objects. And we're just going to rename this um, scene test. OK. So now we have our layer created. Um, let's just open up its render settings. And I'm just going to put on a create layer override, just in case, because this way I can change settings and it won't matter. It won't affect my master layer. Um, so now if you select, we're going to create the first pass. Um, so we're going to select the ball and the light, because if you don't select the light, it'll just be a dark scene. And if you right-click on, let me just open this up here, if you right-click on the layer we created, you'll see a uh, pass contributions and maps, and it's, it's just let me, if you go, there's this button here called create pass contribution map and add selected. Um, it's the second button here. Uh, you can't really see it. it gets cut off here, but uh, you just do that, and it will create um, a drop down under this um, layer you created. And if we just rename this um, ball pass, and then do the exact same thing. Make sure you have your light for the set. Right click, um, pass contribution. Sorry about that. Create pass contribution. I'm just going to rename this set pass. And um, okay, so now we have those passes created. Now, what we're going to do is open up uh, the settings for this layer again. Now, if you go into the passes tab, you'll see we have nothing in here. And if yours is hidden a bit like this, you want to open this up because you'll be using this button here. So, this button here is just going to create. Um, these aren't actually the passes. This will create our passes. This is just um, which objects will be affected by the passes. So you click here. And uh, we're just going to put in here um, ball, ball pass. This is for the prefix. So it will be ball pass plus whatever it is we choose. Now for our ball, we're going to want uh, diffuse. And um, hold down Command or hold down Control if you're win on Windows. And you just click on, we'll want to put on our specular. So just go create and close. And we have our two ball passes. Now just click that again and change this so it's a uh, set pass. And for the set, we have reflection on. And what we're going to do is we're going to do diffuse again. But we're going to do diffuse without shadows. So it'll just render the set without the ball of shadow on it. And then we're going to want, uh, we want reflection for this one. And we'll want, we'll want a shadow pass as well. Create and close. And these are all the passes we have so far. But they're not doing anything yet. It's going to select them all, move them down into the associated passes. And then again, if you look here, you'll see that you have ball pass, set pass. If you drop this down, you'll see the exact same thing here. So what you're going to do is you're going to set this to ball pass. Click on these two, holding shift, and uh, just drop them down. And you'll see they, they've dropped down into the ball pass. So if you go to set pass now, this empties out, and you'll want to drop in the set. So that's, that's it for now. Um, I'll show you. I'm just going to do a quick render, and I will show you where to go from there. So if you just hold on space, go to render, you have to be in your rendering uh, tab and just go back from there.
So this is our images folder of the project that we're working in. So this is what has been created after we did our batch render. If we just open this up, you'll notice there's all these little folders here. And I don't particularly like to work with all of them like this because every time you open it up, there's a file called render passes. And that's just the name of uh, the scene we have. So if you open it up, they're all, all the things are named render passes. <clears throat> and you'll notice that it's all ball diffuse, or ball pass diffuse. This is all the layers that we've created. Except this one's called Master Beauty. That's just uh, the full scene. You don't need to worry about this one either. If you, I'm just going to expand it here. This is the, the Master Beauty layer. Um, you can see there has a nice alpha channel on this. But it's the full scene. I, if I wanted to edit this, I'd have to re-render. I wouldn't be able to change the shadows. I wouldn't be able to do anything. But because we've done these passes, if I'll just expand each one of these ones. So this is our the ball diffuse, the ball specular, the reflection for our set, and the shadow for our set. Oh, and sorry, this is the diffuse for our set. Um, anyway, so but another thing you'll notice is that there's no alpha channels. And I really don't like working with all these layers. So, so if we just open up our render settings for this layer, and go to common. If um, up here where it says scene test, this is this is the folder that's created, and then in here it says render pass. That's what pass is created, and then render pass. This is the name of your file. Now we can change this by changing the file name prefix. Um, if you just type in render pass and uh, press enter, then you can see it's gotten rid of that last slash where it just says render passes, so it's just going to render um, the scene test and then the render pass .tga. So um, it'll render whatever ball diffuse, ball pass diffuse .tga, and it'll do that for all of them. Okay, now uh, for the alpha channels, if we just open up uh, ball diffuse, um, just set this to four channels because the three channels there's that's RGB, and if you add a fourth, that'll add your alpha channel. Um, the only problem with this is if you you can do this with all of them, except um, don't do it with the shadow pass because it, it gives you some weird results if you add the the pass on there. You can always just um, I'll do it right now as well. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to show you anyway. If you select your light and the objects, create a new layer. I've already done the tutorial on this. Um, and we'll call this a shadow. Um, yeah, shad shadow pass. You don't have to do this, but um, if you just change this to, if you get an attribute to this layer, and go down to the bottom and go shadow. Um, because we're using mental rate, it's going to be a little strange. Um, okay, so now we're just going to do another batch render, and then I'll show you from there. Okay, so you guys will only have the scene test, or whatever you've named the this layer. But, um, or un unless you followed along and you did your shadow pass, but I would should suggest that you didn't do that. But anyway, um, if you just expand the scene test, you can see now that there's no stupid folders. You can just expand this, and you get all of your passes right there. So um, let's preview these. This is the set pass shadow. You can see this is exactly the same. That's because we didn't change any of the settings on it. But if you look now, we, for the reflection pass, we have a nice alpha channel. There's an alpha channel on the set. Uh, the master beauty is always there. You can see the ball is singular is by itself. Um, and the, this ball pass is, is also by itself. You won't be able to preview this like this on Windows. You'll have to open it up in your compositing program, but uh, with a Mac, you can just press space, and it will show you with the alpha channel. If you wanted to do the shadow pass this way, uh, this is what it will render out. Um, you can see you get your nice shadow, but then there's a little fun, funny thing on the ball. That's because we're using mental ray, and mental ray doesn't like to use those kind of passes. So that's it. Um, check out my blog for any more posts on tutorials. It's watsonmedia.ca. And uh, thanks.